cervical tears. Tears that cause postpartum hemorrhage are most often cervical or deep vaginal tears. This video will show how to identify and repair cervical tears. Suspect a cervical tear if there is too much bleeding. It doesn't appear to be coming from the vaginal tissues. The uterus is firm and well contracted and the placenta and membranes are complete. Tell the woman that you need to examine inside her vagina because she is continuing to bleed. Provide emotional support. Be sure her bladder is empty. Wash your hands and put on sterile gloves. Then, separate the labia and with good light, gently examine for tears. To examine the cervix, insert two fingers the full length of the vagina and press firmly downward. This will bring the cervix into view. Then, gently grasp the top of the cervix with ring forceps. Ask your helper to massage the uterus as needed and provide gentle fundal pressure to help push the cervix into view. With the second ring forceps, grasp the cervix at the 3 o'clock position. Gently pull in various directions to see the cervix. Then, move around the cervix in a clockwise direction, picking up the tissue with the forceps and inspecting in this way until the whole cervix is examined. Here, a retractor is used to access the cervix. Grasp the top of the cervix at the 12 o'clock position. Then place your second forceps a few centimeters away. Inspect the cervix between the forceps for any tears. Move in a clockwise direction, releasing the topmost forceps and attaching them a few centimeters beyond the other forceps. Place the clamp well onto the tissue so you don't risk tearing the cervix. Keep in mind, tears often occur at 3 and 9 o'clock. There may also be several tears. Continue rotating the forceps and inspecting in this way until the whole cervix is examined. Though it may look bruised and swollen, and there is an abrasion identified, you are only looking for serious and especially bleeding lacerations. Repair cervical tears that are longer than one centimeter or that are bleeding. The cervix is firm tissue. Use a strong needle and suture to repair it, such as two or chromic cat cut. You do not need local anesthetic since the cervix has no nerve endings. Grasp the cervical lip with two ring forceps, one on either side of the tear. This stabilizes the cervix and holds the edges of the tear straight. Above the apex, place an anchor stitch with a four layer knot. Then insert the needle from the outer to the inner surface of one edge of the tear and finish by bringing the needle from the inner to the outer surface of the other side. Be careful to suture only the side of the cervix with the tear. Don't suture the cervix closed. Close the tear with continuous sutures and finish with a four layer knot. Tell the woman that the sutures will be absorbed and do not need to be removed. She should avoid putting anything into her vagina for at least six weeks to give the tear time to heal. 
Remember, suspect a cervical tear if there is too much bleeding, it's not coming from the vaginal tissues, and the uterus is well contracted. Grasp the cervix with ring forceps and rotate them around to examine the whole cervix. Join the edges of the tear carefully with a strong needle. 